I'm wondering if it was the footsteps, because he made some footsteps, and Taco could have heard it. Yeah, and there it is. But Cold was stuck, and that's just like that game of chicken and a jumping headshot from Snacks. This is getting ridiculous. Now he has an op to play with as well if he wants, but he's going to hit that one shot Taco on one HP. No way, Snacks. Another big clutch for VP. That would be a that would be ridiculous. Taco with the peak takes the jump, spots out Snacks, hoping to get lucky through the smoke. And Snacks knows exactly where Taco's playing from now. Taco is this real life. Are you really going to try and jump through the smoke? Two seconds left, one second left, and Snacks gets the kill with the Molotov. No kill required. It's going to be an inner push. A quick adjustment here, but simple. Finds an easy first frag. Looking for the second as well. Of course he nails it. Five versus two. Just screaming body remaining. Just trying to get a plan at this point. And Simple did see a shoulder from Scream. Bomb's going to go down. Nothing he can do about that. But Edward getting the last of five kills. Or sorry, the most recent of the five kills. That'll be the last from Simple. Ooh, missed shot from Olaf that time. Tough one to hit behind the flower pot. That does give Angel a bit of an opening, but an ugly shot from Olaf up close. Misses the next, but he's got time to reset. Gotta go to the pistol eventually. Headshot on two. He'll close it out. And again, I miscall call the first headshot, but doesn't matter. <laughs> Olaf's got style. 7-1 Fnatic. For it and go for the wide peak, but it's gonna leave Exist in a position where they're lined up. Flashing, can't land it. Freiburg does trade on the tree, and he's got a lineup of three. A fourth as well for Freiburg to close it potentially for an IP. Surely this is enough. Up RPK is gonna prevail once more as he rotates back around. Michael might have long to work with, but he's down. One versus two. AWP in hand. Shot toward the tree. Boost countered out. Low HP for RPK. It doesn't even matter. AWP for Michael. 11-1 for NIP. Yeah. Oh, here we go then. Oh, it's going to be different. Nothing of what we speculated. Oh. That scream, doing what scream <laughs> does. Forrest Khan. He did the same thing on the T side. The bomb, Henry? He did the same thing on the T side with the Deagle. It's exact opposite on the next pistol. Shocks though, and scream doing serious work here. It's just disgusting. Headshots all oh over the place. God. My God. Flashes in. Surely we'll be committing at this point. There he goes. Shot in from Simple, successful against RPK, and he's gonna go hunting inside of the smokes as well. The tree, he spots the shoulder. It's Scream to go down, and Simple's gonna get aggressive inside of the smoke again. Shocks falls, the pistols can do nothing. Dangerous drop right there, Smith. Did he hear it walking in? I'm not sure, Cage, and oh, Smith shooting at the ceiling of the tunnel. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. This game has just, de just de developed into complete madness at this point. There's no one knows what's happening anymore. Rubino going to be walking in. Scream is right there for an easy headshot. And G2 are going to win the round regardless. Behind toward the tree. Venton's in, but only toward the headshot. It's Dennis instead that's more threatening. As he manages to drop down, he'll get toward Checker. Uh, Missed ooh. shots. Pondick down and out. And Dennis is going to capitalize. Pondick has to be kicking himself after losing that round. And Stiko up on the hunt right now. He's gonna get a little bit of help out in Bondic getting a double kill, but they will still lose another two players. Still a two on three here. And Taz opening up with a big double kill. Hellraisers, they need this round. They can't really let go of it. And standing in the fire there, Dead Fox gonna end up going down. That's a triple kill for Taz. And that leaves zero. Has not got a single kill yet in this map. But the bomb down on the B bomb side. And he's gonna end up going down. Quad kill for Taz. That area actually gets a headshot towards the initial player then. Empty FNX opens things up, bomb drops as well. Taco finally kills all over the place. So shots everywhere from FNX. Twist now, last alive, one versus four. FNX again, four kills for him in the round with the USBS. And one to the region. One time to go to the simple. Tapco, Pajico, Pego, Pelo, Pego, we do. 이게 페이크 소모들 하도 당하다 보니까 늦는데 아 심플이 둘. Then now it's all on Cajun in a 1v2 scenario. Quad kill so far for Forrest on this eco and Cajun decides to end it. So it's all on Michaelele. And he might just manage to Oh no! Oh, he runs out of bullets. He picks up an empty AK. That's what I was saying, 2 HP, it doesn't matter if he catches someone off like that. So Electro goes down, it's just Twist, 1 versus 3. Knows there's one in the apartments, at least doesn't know where Taz is. Low HP, easily to wall him down. As he clips through the edge, headshot on Taz could make this very interesting on Pasha at 45, but he's looking, he can't find the second player, Pasha's gonna pop out. Snap reaction from Twist, now he's got Taz, now there's a chance. Knife out, he's just gotta get away and play the time, he's trying to relocate himself. 12 HP to work with, and Pasha's gonna go toward the bomb. Flash, smoke on it, but the smoke's not far enough, and Twist is gonna clutch it back for Fnatic. Exactly, due to the positioning, he can fall back onto the site. He's going to be able to pick up Catwalk, and Shox is there to help him out with Long as well. And Smith, what a shot on the Cajun B. Two for him, make that three, could go for four, and he's just barely going to miss the shot. Miz, he's not going to be long for this world. Four kills for Smiths. 
flowing in the flashbangs, coming in from the other side. They're almost out of time, but there's one kill happening. Fur getting close and jumping up. Oh my god, he gets the headshot while jumping, stealing it away from Hellraisers. Freiburg MSL dominates Get Right, and it's down to Michael Ele in a 1v2. Unbelievable. Damus House finding the way back in the round. Michael Ele, definitely an explosive player when it really comes down to it. Puts the bomb down at 22 seconds left, and now he's going to try and fall back to a little bit more safety, looking for the kill on one. He's just crouching behind this wall. MSL is down, and now Magus right on the other side. Michael Ele is a little bit low on help, but he gets a headshot anyway. The A takeover, but Bondic alive on dog walk. He's picking up kill after kill, two for him. And that sets it up for Zero to get in there to deny the plant. And Angel now in a 1v1 versus Neo. Neo's only got the 6 HP. But these are the kind of situations he thrives in. We'll see if he can actually succeed in getting the drop on Angel, and he very well might. Angel is not expecting him to come from on high. This is unbelievable. If Neo actually catches him out, does he realize where Angel's coming from? The footsteps. Angel! No way! Neo with 6 HP ends the round with 3 kills and the 1v1 clutch. Two vital kills, and we're into a one-on-one -on -one somehow between Neo and Cold. M4 versus AK, Cold has got the double kill, he's looking for the triple, he's gonna get the headshot spree. Bondic. Top wooden spots, one through the door jumping, good pickup on Twist as well, and then the rotation in behind, red two for him, Angel's gonna follow it up on Dennis and Flames in the corner, Venton denied the plant. Positions on trying to retake the site, simple, he's gone to chicken coop, very spammable, he's gonna have to get a read early on. Was it on AK they have a shock to pick up? I'm pretty sure he's ran past one. Sticking with the UMP, interesting. There definitely would have been one somewhere on the A side. I don't know if it was whether or not where he no, went by or not. They boosted up. He ran past one. I saw it. Oh. Shocks. He's going to go down to Simple right away. This does leave it vulnerable. Body's not going to bother spraying through. He wants to push it. He wants to rush it down. And Simple's going to hold it. 1v3 from Cajun. And all that from Navi hesitating. Turning around for the flashbang. Cajun certainly ready for it. Might be able to clutch it. He does not see him. Oh, the scope finally gives up his position. But one bullet would take care of business. And Edward has made it out of heaven. That's already a big win. He's got a little bit of time left. He does have a diffuse kit. Cajun hiding inside. He's going to get one shot at this. If he misses, it might be all over. He's just holding it in right now. Cajun, where's the peak? Oh, no. The bomb is dropped in the back, and there's only 15 seconds. Oh, what a headshot coming out. RPK finding the triple, leaving Magis, who's got a double of his own. Going to put in a grenade on Smith, but it doesn't quite hit. Actually, it will. He runs back into it a little bit. Smith trying to fake it once. Magis coming in, and he's going to get it for the triple kill. Another round being won here. This is easy for the 5-7. Yeah, this has fallen apart there. Body from the back of the A side finds two stellar headshots there. And now the mining games begin. Scream opting to stay on the A side, hoping Freiburg may be overthinking the situation, but he's just running towards the B side. This is where you start to favor Freiburg in this, at this point. 30 seconds remaining. The bomb will be going down. And Whoa. Freiburg disappears. Whoa. Whoa. Never seen that. That is next level Freiburg. Yeah, <laughs> going cloak. Yeah. Just when it matters. Exactly. He's going to hold off as well. Scream. Oh, this is where the HP starts to matter. The movement. Freiburg had to hit the shot. He does, just barely. And NIP will hold on to the momentum. Oh, God, has to fall back. He can't. Rubino there. And what a great double kill. Looking for more. No one challenging him. A third headshot coming through from the Norwegian player. Flamey's going to stay on top of the site. Man down. Simple falling to Smith, who elects to stay with it. Now it doesn't matter what weapons they've got because they've got manpower. Flamey finds one. Wide peak. Next it's another. Scream goes down as he bypassed Smith and it's onto a one-on-one. -on -one. Both climb up the train. Spotted by Flamey in the end. And Smith's unscoping oh. goes for the no-scope. Can't find it. Flamey's in the open, but he's out of ammo. He's got to fall back. Smith's. He's going to do the same. He's got no kit. It's the round over. Flamey's got it. And this sort of this is just a decided second or third seed, basically, at this point. They've already lost the first map, so. Let's see what happens. This should be a foregone conclusion, but by oh. oh my god. Oh, Pasha! Through the smoke, denies the plant, turns and catches Twist before he can respond. Neo's got Vent and Invertus Pro suddenly steal around out of nowhere. Low HP on Dennis as well. Pasha's gone massive. And I'm not talking about the gym in the morning. He's massive right now on the server. <clears throat> Snacks will close it out. That is brilliant. Will escape his scream was the one he was chasing. Good headshot from RPK under Forest as well. Again, we said it now that the accuracy is looking on. Oh. Okay, all right. Bye bye, Freiburg. <sighs> Change my pants. I don't think they fit. I don't think they're comfortable. They're a little damp. Zero caught out in the open. This is all on Bondic now. It's a very bad position for Stika for Zero to be in, but Bondic gonna get one kill. He needs one bullet on Taz and he's gonna be out of it. He's up on the roof just trying to look down and on the other side, Taz making a lot of noise. Bondic just one bullet and that's gonna be it right in the foot. Triple kill for Bondic and Hellraisers.
Molotov towards CD spawn, presumably, but Olaf Meister gets the first kill, drops the bomb as well. Snacks goes down. Five on four, a chance of Fnatic closes one up. Flashes over. Oh, Here brilliantly as well. As Pasha comes out late, no one to cover him off. Missed shot that time from Olaf, though, and it gives Neo position and the angle to cover. On top of the balcony, doesn't land it on the second, but third's a charm. And now it's just Taz down inside of the site. I fear the end for Virtus Pro, no, but Bialy no. with two. Hang on, is it going to be a one versus five? Absolutely not. Go through connector towards A. This could get interesting. Oh, FNX, that UMP just doing so much. He picks up an AK, turns around for the headshot. FNX, that's a quad kill. Bro, good shot on Bondic. Leaves Dead Fox in the open, down to a one-on-one. -on -one. He's got this, and Olaf's low. Has to hit the off shot, jump in. Dead Fox shows the movement, and they'll get 10 rounds in the end. Time. To work Forest it out. was also timid to peek out yeah, from the it's, it's still, like, the thing is, if 20 seconds, Forrest can't really justify what he's got to go. Do. Yeah, now he's got to. So he might as well still go for it. Probably has about 15-second window. Probably the first altercation he has with Scream. That's the only opportunity he's going to have with the Zero Kit. He's got an MP7, though, and an HE. I actually do like this position in this sense, too. He knows he's going to be coming from the B site. Yeah. MP7 might help him because 38 HP it would be two bullets on the body. But he's covered, covered both angles. This nade's going to give him away. Forrest checks barrels. In behind APC, he doesn't even see him. It's such a, it, it is a sneaky position. It's a one and done, but in a one on one. They're all the way outside. This is incredible. They've thrown all the grenades for an A push, but they shot in the back. Angel picking up the kill. Bondic with a headshot. Oh no. Virtus Pro, they put so much into this round. And now Angel comes up the ladder, gets the kill, looking for another one here on Neo. Almost alone as well. Jumps down and takes a little bit of damage. And Neo in a one on three here. Oh, this is horrendous. He's going to go down Angel to clean it up with a triple kill. Going to pick up the kill, and that puts Freiburg in a really weird position. He knows that one person's there. He even knows what Convic is, and one bullet here would actually seal the deal. He's going to go for it. Oh, my God. Freiburg clutching it with a double kill, and that's going to be GG. 16-12. The answer back here on the CT side. Letting Hellraisers get away with a couple of rounds, but um, the party is pretty much over right now. It's 18 seconds left. Stiko does get a kill. Not sure why that was that much going on, but it's going to be Stiko with the double kill and Hellraisers to win the round. A five versus three here in a very, very silly manner. It's one thing for Snacks to look around, but then Taz is there. Then Neo is out in the open alone. There's, there's really almost no attempt for any kind of a teamwork. Fur is low enough to die to a grenade, but Pasha going to be sneaking in, no scoping, FNX, and now Fur, that 1HT grenade from Pasha could settle this round that would be so painful for the SK team. Sneaking down, they're trying to stay in the back lines, Fur doesn't want to get spotted, Pasha's very close, making a little bit of noise, and oh my god, he gets that shot, absolutely ridiculous, and that's going to be the round versus Pro, they pick it up regardless, and all hail Papa Pasha, this is absolutely ridiculous, just look at this.